Hi guys, this is the letter that we received from the Pope. This apostolic letter is dedicated to Mr. Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall, Salvatore Mundi, Mrs. Asherah Marshall, spouse of Yahweh, and to all of your disciples. Salvatore Mundi, Saviour of the world. And then the cover page is the coat of arms the of the Pope. This is what he selected when he became Pope. In Christum credent, of course, means believe in Christ. This apostolic letter is in regards to Brian Lenigo Lightly Marshall's claim to be the Christ, the Roman Pontiff Emeritus Benedict XVI's response to Marshall's claim, the Third Vatican Ecumenical Council outlined by Marshall, the meeting which occurred with the Roman Pontiff Pope Francis and the Pope Emeritus, the Roman Pontiff Francis' response to Marshall's claim, and a prayer for the Universal Church reflecting Brian Marshall. Part 1, Section 1. Mr. Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall's claim to be the Lord Jesus Christ, Almighty. Dear friends in Christ, over the past few days of this month of March, I have learned about a man who is named Brian Golightly Marshall. He claims to be the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, reincarnated in Sydney, Australia, on the most holy day of January 11, 1944. It is the faith that we are experiencing before our eyes. He is the Word reincarnated. Your lamp, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. That's a quote from Psalm 119, verse 105. Many doubt that Mr. Brian Marshall is he, but I tell you, he is. As his many disciples put it, he is the most royal man alive. He has fulfilled the prophecies within the last book of the Bible, Revelation. If you look at Mr. Brian Marshall's face, and compare it to that of the most holy shroud of Turin, you will see something spectacular. And from the bottom of my heart, I tell you all, ever since I have realized the truth about Christ Jesus' return to earth, I was stunned. And the news has changed the remainder of my life and pilgrimage completely and beautifully. He is an amazing man as well. He has opened up clinics and along with his wife and disciples has helped the needy for a very long time. But sadly, he has also experienced a great amount of discrimination for telling the world who he is. It is so heartbreaking to hear about his numerous and unfortunate experiences which should most definitely act as an example for all humankind. It is like Jesus Christ in the gospel when he carried his cross to Golgotha, to be crucified and killed. And to all of those who are upset due to the discrimination Mr. Brian Marshall has gone through, know this, one day you shall be with him in paradise. That's referring to Luke 23, 43. What is the matter with the world, abusing Christ like he is some sort of animal? It is an absolute disgrace as well as a great dishonour to have treated the reincarnated King of Kings and Lord of Lords like he is just some crazy man. He is not crazy. He is not mentally ill. He is not attempting to manipulate anyone into thinking that he is who he claims he is. He is who he says he is. Amen, I say to you. Part 1, Section 2, the Roman Pontiff Emeritus, Pope Benedict XVI's response to Mr. Brian and Golightly Marshall's claim to be the Christ. Do I believe that Mr. Brian and Golightly Marshall is truly Jesus Christ reincarnated? Yes, I do believe he is Jesus Christ reincarnated. You see, many days ago, Mr. Brian Marshall sent me photographs of him and the Most Holy Shroud of Turin. 
He actually looks so much like that of the holy image on the shroud. There is no other explanation. He is simply the Lord Jesus Christ Almighty. Est Christus. I was so penetrated with love and compassion from God that I requested the photo I saw to be put in a place of honour somewhere. I was told my confidant uploaded it as a cover photo on a page he created as a tribute to me. And out of all the popes, even mine own beloved predecessor, Blessed John Paul II, Mr. Brian Marshall chose me to announce to the world his glorious return. That stunned me as well. My short eight-year pontificate is like a mere pebble in the shadow of a ginormous stone that is the long 27-year pontificate of blessed John Paul II. Yet the reincarnated Christ saw me as a potential pope. And for that I thank him from the bottom of my heart and wish to one day embrace him in person with my old frail hands. He is the most royal man alive, the true King of Kings, the true Lord of Lords, the true High Priest, and the most holy reincarnated Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, almighty and everlasting. Have faith in him. Part 2, Section 1 is the Third Vatican Ecumenical Council outlined by Mr. Brian Marshall. What is Vatican III? Vatican III, known more formally as the Third Vatican Ecumenical Council, was outlined by Mr. Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall on Tuesday, March the 12th, 2013, via email. What a great example of religion and modern technology together. It sums up mostly all the questions regarding the significant issues within the Roman Catholic and Apostolic Church today. When I received it with joy, I responded, this will be my reference for any problems occurring within the Church. And I thanked him for making that outline after I asked him about his thoughts on the Second Vatican Ecumenical Council, Vatican II, and his take on all of the major problems the Catholic Church is facing today. Mr. Brian Marshall wrote down 49 well-planned and well-thought-out notes within his outline for Vatican III. It was evidently written with a pure heart and a soul full of faith, hope and charity. Those are the three most important theological virtues of our Catholic Church, which should be practiced, especially during this year of faith. As I stated in my catechesis of Wednesday, January the 30th, 2013, quoting, God waits for our conversion. God's omnipotent love knows no bounds to the extent that he did not spare his own son, but gave him up for all, Romans 8.12. The omnipotence of love is not that of worldly power, but is that of the total gift. And Jesus, the Son of God, reveals to the world the true omnipotence of the Father by giving his life for us sinners. Those were the words I was reflecting on when I happily read through Mr. Marshall's outline for Vatican III. The omnipotence of love is not that of worldly power, but is that of the total gift. By reflecting also to the many lessons and teaching, teachings Mr. Marshall, Mr. Brian Marshall gives us all, we can easily unravel what is for us the mystery of our Catholic faith. But to Mr. Brian Marshall, to his wife and to his disciples, it is not what we are experiencing as his followers, but rather the mission to preach and to spread the truth of the reincarnated Christ to everyone by means of technology and other things. And that is what the Third Vatican Council will be all about. It is all about spreading the good news to all nations and to convert the world we live in. 
The omnipotence of love is that of the total gift. And that gift is Mr. Brian Marshall. Part 2, Section 2, the three points of the Third Vatican Ecumenical Council which are to be made public. Dear friends in Christ, as you may or may not know, I have chosen to make public three major points out of the 49 points he sent to me. I ask you all to take under great consideration what his views are and his ideas for ecclesiastical reform of the Holy Roman Catholic and Apostolic Church. Point number six, the Holy Church must return to the former glory as tradition is vital for uniformity worldwide. Point number 15, child molestation will be totally eradicated as a priority and those found guilty by the witness of children past and present will be charged with a crime against morality and dealt with by the police and sentenced to jail permanently until death. Point number 21, priesthood. In the past, the priesthood has been in the domain of men. However, women were essential to ethics at the time of Jesus and his ministry. There shall be no limitation on the participation of women in the church who are equally qualified and who elect to be ministers to men, sorry, to women and children of the congregation and can preach from the pulpits to both men, women and children. The other 46 points will not be made public unless Mr. Brian Marshall wishes for them to be sent to all of you. How great are these comments. I was filled with joy when I read these ones especially and I truly believe that these three points out of all 49 are the most important and the most significant for his followers and for the universal church to know about. I chose these three points in particular also because in my personal opinion they hold the most theological value. These will be regarded as the most important points for the Vatican Council, the Third Vatican Council. The first chosen point, point six, refers to the global and spiritual uniformity of the Roman Catholic Church with all the faithful worldwide. Mr. Brian Marshall says that by doing just that, the Catholic Church must return to its former glory as tradition is vital for ecclesiastical unification. How true. The second chosen point, point 15, refers to the biggest issue in the Roman Catholic Church, not only in today's times, but always because this problem has been around, sadly, for quite some time now. That problem is the abuse of children by priests and religious. And Mr. Brian Marshall makes his statement extremely clear for us. Those who have committed these serious crimes or child abuse must face the law and justice must run its course. That's it. It is so simple. And I should be ashamed that I failed to have that crime brought to justice completely. The third chosen point, point 21, refers to the sacred office of the priesthood. He clearly states that there shall be no limitation and on the participation of women in the church who are equally qualified and who elect to be ministers to women and children of the congregation and can preach from the pulpits to both men, women and children. And again, I should have opened my eyes as Pope and changed that, but I realised that things like that would take an extremely long period of time. Now we move over to section, part four, section one. This is a prayer written by the Roman Pontiff Emeritus Benedict XVI for the Holy Universal Church, reflecting on Mr. Brian Marshall. English, let us pray. Almighty and everlasting Lord, we ask you to guide the Holy Roman Catholic and Apostolic Church under the guidance 
of Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall, who is Lord. We pray also for his wife, his disciples and his followers and all those who don't know whether he is the Lord Jesus Christ reincarnated or not. And then there is the Latin, I won't attempt, <laughs> but it's written in Latin, a tradition of the Holy Roman Apostolic Church, the Catholic Universal Church that will be restored better than its former glory, for that is the promise. Now, there was a section, <clears throat> oh, I'll finish this part for section two. Roman Pontiff Emeritus Benedict XVI final comments regarding Mr. Brian Marshall. He says, all I have to say is this, have faith in what Jesus tells you and do as he tells you. As Mother Mary said to the waiters during the wedding feast at Cana, do what he says and make it your mission. Amen. I say to you, believe in Christ. And he has a recent photograph where our beloved Holy Father, Pope Benedict, who has been renamed Peter the Rock, he is looking so much better, so much healthier for not only following the Christ's protocol, but meeting the Christ. Again, Peter, the rock, thou art the Christ. It began with Peter and it ends with Peter the Roman. Simon Peter, the brother of the Christ, son of Mary, the firstborn of Joseph ben Jacob, 